I agree with what you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. Stop agreeing with yourself. Stop agreeing with yourself. Hello, and welcome to Glass Half Full Reviews, where we ask you to leave your hate at the door. Today, I will be reviewing Alan Partridge. Thanks for the forensic trousers. Could you just, um... Oh, crikey, yeah, sorry. I was actually going to fashion a sort of makeshift modesty spawn. Originally released as Alan Partridge Alpha Papa in the UK in 2013, the movie has now been rebranded as simply Alan Partridge for release more internationally. Alan Partridge is the creation of... British comedian Steve Coogan, who also plays the character. Alan is a DJ for North Norfolk Digital. He's decent friends with Pat Farrell, played by Star Trek's Cole Meany. Pat is a DJ in one of those sort of smooth, jazzy evening programs. But of course, everything changes when a big multinational company comes in and says, oh, we're going to buy the whole thing rebranded as Shape. Which is, you know, obviously intentionally simplistic and silly because it's a terrible name for a radio station. And due to a little bit of hijinks here and there, Alan essentially becomes responsible for the firing of somebody, in this case, Pat, to save his own job. Now, okay, you might leave it at that, but there's a little bit of setup here and there for us uh, American uninformed audiences who aren't as familiar with the character so we get a little bits of setup here and there, a little bit more about the character, how he has a tremendous ego, he doesn't really care about other people as much as he cares about the sound of his own voice, he has a few little flirtatious things with a few other people, but in general, it's really just, okay, let's see where this goes. And where it goes is a very interesting sort of hostage situation, because Pat comes back with a big shotgun and a lot of anger. So, he takes the entire building hostage, except for Alan, who happened to be outside. But, he gets involved. Because Alan is Pat's only friend, or at least that's so Pat believes, so the police use him as an intermediary to try to uh, get Pat to see reason. What follows from there is a series of hijinks and hijinks and additional hijinks, basically series of uh, misfortunes and fortunes is Alan basically tries to get Pat to agree to let people go, but can't help but be involved in something so interesting and all over the news. He just can't help himself. So there's a bit of a dichotomy there between his desire to try to do good and his desire to just be famous, really famous. Now, obviously, I'm not going to spoil things, as the whole point of this review is not to spoil it. But, more hijinks, more hijinks, more hijinks. It's a comedy, so you're not going to have such a sad ending, but you really shouldn't be expecting that. But I would say it's a reasonably satisfying one. One of the things that might be difficult for some non-UK audiences, and I include myself here, is that there are going to be a lot of references that just go over our heads that you just aren't necessarily going to get unless you're really there, unless you're really a part of that culture. Sure, there are plenty of things that I, as someone who has seen many different entertainment outputs from the Isles that maybe other people haven't, that I definitely got, but I'm not so familiar with Alan Partridge as a character. I mean, I looked it up a little bit later, but I hadn't really seen him much before. I was familiar with Steve Coogan, but not his particular character. So there's a lot of that sort of dry, absurdist thing that I think isn't going to work for everyone. For me, I liked it, but that's not for everyone. All right, so that brings me to my five points breakdown. Five point breakdown. Number one, the acting. So Steve Coogan is a talented comedic actor, and I would say he plays this Alan Partridge role in a pretty clear caricature. At times you see a little bit of pathos, a little bit of heart, but in general he's just sort of playing a clown. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, except at times we are meant to take things a little bit more seriously when we try to delve into some of the actual seriousness of the situation at times, and it doesn't really quite come out as 
I may have seen things in, say, Steve Coogan when he was in Philomena, there was no doubt in my mind that, okay, this is a guy who knows what he's doing. Here, it was all filming, which I think is sort of the point, but, you know, limits to the character. Of course, there's a bunch of supporting characters, and they're all fine. I wouldn't say anything was a standout, but there wasn't anything seriously problematic either. Now, that brings to Cole Meany, and I think he's great. He had a character that was recurring on Star Trek The Next Generation, and then a featured one on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, which is one of my favorite shows. And I would say that he does a very good job here as sort of coming across as this interestingly unhinged person. This is a guy who you can't help but feel sympathetic towards, even though you feel like he might erupt in serious violence at any time. So, I think he did a great job. All right, let's move on to number two, the story. The story is somewhat original in that it's a comedic take on a hostage situation at a radio station. Of course, the ideas behind it, this idea of a giant corporation coming in and flattening out all the interesting bits and trying to appeal to the lowest common denominator, uh, it's nothing new. Even 10, 15 years ago, we've seen these types of movies. So this isn't anything particularly groundbreaking. But that being said, I feel like the script has a lot of really funny moments, which is important in a comedy, a dark comedy, but still. All right, what about the look? You know, it's fine. You know, the truth is most of it takes place in small little locations, and it's shot in a way that I think is good in terms of what it needs to be. It's rare that you have action beats, but at those times, it actually does work. And it's not always easy for a comedic movie, so I would definitely give kudos for that. What about the feel? When I left this movie, I thought, hmm, I'm not sure what I think. I laughed quite a bit, and I enjoyed myself, but I felt like it was weak in parts, too. Like, it was not really successful 100% what it was trying to do. But, that being said... I can't help but say, if you're laughing that much, how can you really be mad? And I guess I'm not mad. I guess I liked it. Sure, I think that perhaps the character of Alan Partridge is a touch uh, simplistic, and we don't really have a real arc. It's a simple arc. But there are some other aspects that I still like. Let's move on to my final point. So, how does this movie matter? Well, it matters in... If it's more successful, which it won't be, then you might see more of this character overseas. Now, that being said, there's already plans for further projects from Steve Coogan for the Alan Partridge character. I don't know when that's going to happen because, frankly, I don't think they've actually written anything yet. But, still, I think that you have a possibility for crossover success at times with British properties, but the truth is I don't think this is going to be anything more than a very small maybe cold movie, if people just happen to catch it later on on Netflix or the like. The truth is, I just don't think this character is going to stand out among all the other things that we see. And of course, these themes, which you know are reasonable, and the truth is they are certainly still around today, I think people are tired of that. They're tired of seeing this idea about the corporations and everyone coming in and making things worse, partially because maybe it hits a little too close to home nowadays. And... You just don't like to see it. Now, I happen to like this movie, but I don't see it as going to be successful overseas. Just my opinion. So, my final result. If you like this sort of British absurdist thing, you'll like it. Otherwise, hmm, thanks for stopping by.